Sorry, I just don't think I understand what you're saying. You work for Bumble, the dating app? Yep. We'd like you to come in and answer a questionnaire about dating apps before our market research department. We will compensate you for your time, of course. Hey, uh, if you don't mind me asking, why did you choose me for this market research? Well, you don't know. You're Bumble's grandfather user. Did you say grandfather? Yep. You're our longest, most concurrent, uninterrupted user. You've been using the app every single day for almost a decade. Now, most people eventually get into relationships or their wives find out. Some just go out and live in the woods, but not you. Isn't that cool? Yeah, man, of course the dating apps aren't working for you. You don't understand the ELO system. The what system? It's called the ELO system. It's what they use to rank chess players. When they win a game, their score goes up. And if you lose a game, your score goes down. It's the same thing with dating apps. When someone matches with you, your score goes up. However, when they swipe left on your profile, your score goes down. But just like in chess, you can cheat. One word, men. Men. Stop swiping on women entirely. Start swiping on men. Women are picky, but men don't give a shit. A bunch of horny dudes will swipe with your profile, raising your ELO score, and when you switch back, the app will show more women your profile. Does that really work? I don't know, man. I have sex with women in real life. Now, in your own words, why do you use dating apps instead of finding a partner in a place like a bar or a social event? I guess it's because on a dating app, you know if they're interested in you. You know, because you either swipe right or left. Like if you go and talk to a woman at a bar, she might not be interested or she'll be annoyed or she'll just like pretend to be polite and then you made yourself vulnerable and she'll laugh about you with her friends when you walk away. And There's none of that ambiguity on a dating app, you know? That's great, but I only have one line to write an answer, so I'm gonna write Generalized anxiety disorder. Hello. Uh, hi. Do you like books? What? What's that book you're reading? It's just a book my friend wrote. She's a local author. Oh, nice. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. What's it called? Uh, it's called Love Through All Life. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Nice. What's it about? Is this one of those internet prank videos? Yep, yeah it is. You got, you got me. All right, you have a good day now. Well, thank you so much for your time. The payment should hit your account later this week. Great. Actually, before I go, is there anything you would recommend I do if I didn't want to be Bumble's grandfather user? In order to understand dating apps, you must first understand mice. You can train a mouse to press a lever in order to receive food. However, if you do that, the mouse will only press the lever when it's hungry. And if the lever ever stops providing food, eventually the mouse will give up. Hey, great to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Do you want to go on a walk? Uh, yeah. yeah. Come on. However, if you only reward the mouse with a treat a small percentage of the time it presses the lever, do you know what will happen next? The mouse will press the lever all day, every day, for the rest of its life. Isn't that neat? Hey man, that was a lot of fun. I have to tell you something. 
I am not gay. I've just been looking at men's profiles because somebody told me that if you do that, it somehow boosts your dating score or something. And then I just realized I'm actually really lonely and I was hoping maybe I could find somebody just to have fun with and hang out with and I, I'm, I'm sorry for lying. I just, I, can you relate to those feelings? No, man, that's pretty fucked up. Hey, I have one more question. Those mice in the experiment, after they stopped pressing the lever, did they lead happy lives? No, they were euthanized. Thanks again for coming in.